unlike previous builds of the year where I just started building, well, I sort of had a plan drawn and started building. This one is actually going to be done on the fly, and I'm mocking it up as I go along. So the plan is going to be to get a bunch of pallets and lay them all out into a formation to make the flooring and also make all the walls using the pallets. So I'm actually planning on um, building it up as we go along and just building it all together before I actually start to uh, screw everything into place. This time we're going to be using screws and nails, a couple zip ties, but not like last time where we pretty much zip tied everything because this structure is going to be built to actually um, be a lot stronger. Although honestly, the previous structure withstood two hurricanes and it didn't fall down, you know. Although the, um, the tarp ripped, which, you know, this time we're actually using wood for the walls and I'm going to be coating it with, um, well, I'll leave that as a surprise. It's going to be a special coating to try to make it waterproof and also stronger than previously and economical. Now, the plan is to actually build the ground, the, the flooring, and then put the wall segments in. And then um, I'll be using these uh, beams, the, the wall beams for the yurt, you know, the, the poles, and putting those up, then putting these cross beams towards the center. At least that's the plan. Now you can see in the previous build, the, the beams themselves were actually pushed down into the dirt, and some of it has rotted. I don't know if it's rotted or termites have gotten to it, but um, you can see that within two years, that's what happened to the wood. And some of it here, you can actually see where termites and stuff kind of ate it, ants and termites and stuff. So I'm going to use whatever I can. I'm not going to spend a lot of money on this project because I talked to the guy who um, is doing the palm removal. And he said that they told him within two years, this entire development is going to be gone. Somebody has bought all this land and is going to put up the city. I, I guess Emerald City, you know, a whole new housing development here. So everything that you see here, as far as uh, the videos that I've been documenting of the compound, will cease to exist. At least parts of it will. They are going to be building a whole new city here. So whatever I'm building here will be destroyed within two years. Probably before the end of two years. So I'm not going to sink too much money into it, although I want to make it a little bit better to see what can be done using pallets. Uh, I plan on getting the pallets mostly from um, alleyways and stuff where I've been getting these. You know, people um, dump them back there after they get their shipment. And a lot of them will actually post on Craigslist so you can get free pallets. So I'm going to be keeping my eyes out for those and picking up pallets. And um, hopefully I can get enough pallets in a reasonable amount of time to get the structure up. And you guys can get to see me enjoy it. Stay tuned.